third. He's probably running out of fuel soon, so God knows if he'll ever make it back here. I'm back, bitches! So guys, of course, that was a very special intro requested by Cheddar Bob himself because we were talking and he goes, Hey man, so for the intro for this video, um, you know that scene where Vegeta comes back down to earth and DBZ abridged and I was like, I got you fam, I got you. If you guys don't know who Cheddar Bob is or haven't been on the channel for very long, Cheddar Bob is the guy, he's like the pipes behind the music videos I do, except for uh, one of them uh, David Nader did, uh, but uh, Cheddar Bob is, is the pipe seriously behind the music videos because I can't sing for crap, like I seriously can't sing at all. So if you guys enjoy those music videos, then you have Cheddar Bob to thank for because seriously I wouldn't be able to do them without them because I, I once again I have no singing talent at all. But Cheddar Bob's voice is not going to be the subject of this video, guys. His dueling ability is, okay? Because he topped a regional, he topped 32 to regional in New York with Pendulum Magicians without Boral Load, only two Electromites, and he did this. He did this without playing Ash Blossoms, guys. Seriously, no Ash Blossoms, nothing like that. Incredible deck profile. I have an incredible deck profile to show you guys today. His deck is just, it's out there, man. It's, it's something you guys have not seen before. And on top of that, this story, okay? This story is something Thing you haven't heard before oh my gosh like this is why I wanted to do this video guys not only is this a very very impressive deck profile um, it, it was very impressive what he did with this deck but the story behind this tournament top is I'm sorry it's even more epic guys and it's hilarious it's freaking hilarious I had to show you guys this video I had to show you guys the footage of the conversation and everything so that is going to be the uh, subject of today's episode I want to be showing you guys uh, Cheddar Bob's uh, top 32 non Ash Blossom uh, budgets I guess Pendulum Aradne magicians like with Solvents and stuff it's actually a really good, really interesting deck profile, so that is going to be today's episode, and then we're going to be opening up some fan mail, but before I get into all that, I have to give a huge, huge shout out to um, all of my patrons. You guys are just amazing. Thank you all so much once again for supporting me, and just every, supporting everything I do. Just, you guys are amazing. And one more shout out, of course, to my sponsor, MetaMats.com. If you guys want, seriously, if you guys want an amazing cloth, I mean, high quality cloth playmat, the best cloth playmats on the planet, there's, there's a reason why I let them sponsor me, guys. I don't have any other sponsors but MetaMats, and there's a reason behind it. It's because they make the best cloth play mats on the planet. And of course because I was able to work with them to get my fans discounts on mats because I'm amazing, okay? Because I'm amazing. If you guys want 10% off of any mats of a metamats.com, I crack myself up. <laughs> but seriously, if you guys want 10% off of any mat from metamats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus and you will get 10% off of any mats. And of course, if you guys want to support my channel even further, the links to my custom metamats are all down in the description. But now with all that out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and get into this epic story of Cheddar Bob's tournament top and open up some fan mail what is up guys i have a special special treat for you today the singer the owner of the beautiful voice that sings some of the greatest music videos of all time of course my music videos cheddar bob we have cheddar bob here and we're gonna be talking about his deck and not only are we gonna be talking about his deck but we are going to be joined by spellborn another yugi tuber and uh we are going to be talking about um not only you know cheddar bob himself but how he got top 32 with pendulum magicians without ash blossom okay don't know how you pulled it off no idea um so the yeah, deck is on your screen right now so guys uh, cheddar bob say hi to everybody how are we doing guys you miss me it's been a I while <laughs> it's been a while oh. since i've been on <laughs> oh, you know <laughs> oh my gosh dude <laughs> okay so deck's on your screen now um so uh, let's talk about this okay so you're, you're playing a rodney pendulum magician which you were trying to top the yugi no no cup with on discord if you guys do not right. know that is going on right now um my, my boy in rated my boy in rated sevenfold hosting that tournament on my discord for me he's, he's fantastic uh, but um if you guys did not know that tournament is going on right now um and uh, cheddar bob's been whooping up or had been whooping up um in the tournament yeah. with this deck as well but that wasn't enough for him you're a total savage it wasn't enough that you're whipping <laughs> up on people in the tur in my tournament you had to yeah, go to a so uh, yes, you had to go to an actual so, Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Uh, yeah, apparently I just have a habit of top 32 in with this deck and doing nothing else. <laughs> oh my like, gosh. I went 7-1 and one in Swiss in the Yu-Gi-Oh no Cup and lost in top 32. And then just yesterday I got top 32. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well I so guess that's tell what us, this deck does well tell us about your matchups like just everything so round one i played well let me talk about this first um so the whole reason i played the deck was um a couple reasons um uh, once double iris got banned my immediate reaction okay what can be the new double iris because yeah. i was like how do you search time gap consistently outside of just duelist alliance but i felt like duelist alliance would be more important because you'd need to search combo pieces mm -hmm because you just didn't have as many of them. So I was just like, fuck time graph. Let's make a new double iris. 
And then Ariadna kind of popped into my head. I was just like, wait a sec. This thing fucking search ca searches counter traps. And That's they're really not good. brick. They're not bricks like Time Graph. Mm -hmm. And you just pop it with Electrum. And also, literally the combo, I can't obviously show it on screen, but the combo literally, you get two counter trap searches and then you search the third one off of your second Astrograph or mm -hmm. your third Ariadne mm -hmm. and you put it in your scale. So now whatever counter traps they gave you have no cost. That's pretty good. So literally, I was getting free strike, free warning, mm -hmm. free scolding, free judgment. Yep, that's like, exactly how it all of them. Yeah, see, this reminds me. This this reminds me exactly like uh, after a dual, uh, not dual line. Sorry, a uh, uh, Bosch came out. After Bosch came out, yeah. Like, when Rodney first came out, people were splashing Rodney and everything. And then like all of a sudden, that's literally what it was. Yeah, and like literally all of a sudden, just like nothing. It was monarchs were all the rage. You know, like, it's just so powerful. It snuck up, and all the solemn cards are just insane. Yes, they are, and like I, I really, especially I, when Judgment came out. When Judgment came back, like that just happened to be a coincidence. I was gonna ask you about that. If you weren't playing, if, if Judgment didn't come off, would you just play like a second Scolding, or would you play a second Strike? I would play a second Strike hmm. because if you play two Scold, you, if you're playing two Scolding, you have to play five Counter Traps mm -hmm. because if you sh if you're playing four, if you're playing four mm -hmm. and two of them are Scolding. Then they can give you both scolding. Oh, that's right. Um, that's right. That's right. That's right. So you would want you would want the uh, strike. Right. right. That is correct. I, I have thought about just that. adding in a second. No, and it's you know I seriously like I think other people forget it too. Like I forget it all the time. Like scolding, even though I've made jokes about it in, in videos in the past and stuff. Like scolding has to be the only thing set. Like yeah. people feel like but it's that. broken. Yeah, like, it's really like, good. People were asking me why I play that instead it, of a second strike, and I'm just like, have you read this card? It's yeah. It, it came <laughs> out it, it, like like solemn scolding. I feel like came out as because like as Konami going okay look we can't give them judgment back so let's give them something <laughs> so yeah. like they came out well, with especially scolding especially like because the traps themselves like even aside from searching with Ariadne if you draw them like if you put up a vortex dragon tornado dragon mm -hmm. they can break that right if you put up a tornado dragon tornado dragon and a solemn that's really good yeah it is really good <laughs> that's a good board so like going into like just the kind of um that was the general idea of the deck mm -hmm. the general idea was I wanted to play the combo build like the super super nuts one mm -hmm. but i didn't have the time to learn all the combos and i didn't have the money to put in the extra deck right i didn't want to play the ftk build because a it's an ftk build and b it's not as consistent as i wanted it to be mm -hmm. or at least from what i've tested of it so i was just like why don't i play something that's a little bit that's cheaper that i've been testing for a while mm -hmm. um and also is just like like this gives the deck the highest possible well other than other than the combo build, mm -hmm. this is the build that gives us the highest ceiling going first. It gives you more stopping because, power. Yeah, it gives it really you the, it gives you the same amount of stopping power as the combo build mm -hmm. does, but it doesn't. But it's cheaper, easier, which is why I called it ignorant magicians. Mm -hmm. um, and it's um, people are unironically playing spear mode or spear mode and lava golem. Right. Like, you can't Lava Golem traps. No. So, no. even if you, like, sphere mode me, mm -hmm. you still have to play through a Solemn or two. Yeah, that's really good. So, yeah. And I feel and like... it worked out, like, literally every single game I drew Ariadne. Yeah. And like, and like, I feel like um, when it comes to trap cards and stuff, that's what's really good about really powerful, like, sol especially the solemn cards. It's like they're so good against anything. You know, what I mean, you don't care about you know what you, if you play meta or rogue. Like, solemn warning, yeah. solemn judgment, solemn warning, solemn judgment, every single time. They stop everything. Yes. Like, oh, you want to pin? You want to pin someone? Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> okay. Hard going first deck. Like that's the kind of downside of it. Mm -hmm. So every game that I went second, I would side out the Ariadnes and I would side. All the traps yeah um, but uh and then even going even if i'm going first in the game three i would sometimes side out one ariadne because mm -hmm. then if they cherries my electromite i don't have a way to pop ariadne anymore mm -hmm. so i would take one out and put in the third purple gotcha, uh, gotcha. which i would have played anyway but i didn't have a room um, come, yeah that was I, was I was i was actually just looking at your side yeah that was um, literally the only reason i was just uh the third purple poison and the third black fang would both be but i didn't have Come you don't um, uh, come you don't side a third Dinko and like side out the Solemns for like Dinkos, you know what I mean? Um Denko, I didn't want to draw multiples ever. Mm -hmm. Um I could also only get two. The side was just kinda jank because it's kinda what I had. The one card that I really, really wanted to side that I was Was what now? Uh, uh Side Blocker. 
Oh PSI yeah. Blocker. Oh yes, dude. Side blocker is one of the I best. I was yeah. testing that for the longest time because that's a card I would literally put in against everything. Yes, the, I used oh, to side it. Also it. My, mm -hmm. And it was also my out to anti spell. Dude, it, it, um, yes, exactly. I was literally just about to say that. Like pendulum magician yeah, like, format, Pepe format. Yeah, like, like literally side this deck does not have an out to anti spell unless to trigger a purple poison. Trigger a purple poison. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm so sorry. Like, you seriously, like, every time you, you try to finish a sentence right now, it just seriously keeps cutting out. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, though. Um, so, uh, and why weren't you playing uh, two luster? So, what's with the one luster, even though uh, you were playing a rod? Um, um, just space. Just space. Um, I had the second luster initially. This deck was initially 42, mm -hmm. and then I needed, but, with it, but it didn't have hand traps. Right. Um, and I felt like I needed a couple. Um, so, I cut a luster, and I cut, I forget exactly what I cut. Um, but I cut one of the lusters. Well, you mean 44 and, then? Because the deck I'm looking no, at is no, 42. No, it was 42, but it was different. Oh, um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Hand and hand traps. then, um, but I was like, I need to add hand traps. So I cut one of the lusters mm -hmm. for it because I felt like it was the only thing that I like, could cut. I do want to put in a second one, though. Gotcha. Um, I initially tested without it, and I played the third black thing instead because the third black thing was another high scale. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, wait a second. Luster's any luster is a high scale anyway, but it gives me advantage. It works with the Ariadne and it's searchable off Duelist Alliance without having to burn Pendulum. Yeah. Oh my mom's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> you're the one that's you're the one that still lives with her. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny that. Oh my god. So now let's talk about this extra deck. So um how how did you like all the ratios and everything? Um, I love the extra deck. The only card in the extra deck that I did not summon was Trapeze Magician. Mm -hmm. um, but that was only because I didn't play any... And... Any, any Trick Stars. I didn't play against any Trick Stars. Right. Um, and Trapeze Magician is just like, it auto wins your Trick Star matchup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. they can't burn you. Yeah, yeah, they can't do anything. So, yeah, you, you, you put up Trapeze Magician 2 against Trick Stars, and they literally just lose. Awesome. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get through the, the through the, like the rest of this actually kind of quickly because you're you are still like cutting out pretty bad. Um, all right. No yeah, problem. yeah. Keep in mind, guys. Keep in mind, all you guys watching this. Cheddar Bob is in New York. I'm in Oklahoma. Okay. Through the miracle <laughs> of technology, only through the miracle of technology is he yeah. here with us today. And um and well, Spellborn is here with us uh, as well from the East Coast. So I'm uh, from New York, you guys. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Sorry about the cutting out, but uh, so this extra deck, uh, you, um, you you like the two Electromite, very very like so you were happy with every two game. Every, game. every game, yeah, the good. Uh, the Metaltron was really good. I never got its second effect off, but uh, it was good. Nice. The Deco Talker was funny mm -hmm. because it was supposed to be a Boralode, mm -hmm. and if it was a Boralode, I would not have time. Oh man. <laughs> How's that? Um, I because Deco Talker was there, so you use Deco Talker as like a is a is a on two, Saturday. Yeah, Deco because on in your turn one combos you use both Electrums and you use the Metaltron. Mm -hmm. So if that board gets broken, you're out of links. Yeah, which means that you're stuck with one extra zone for the entire rest, rest of the game. Of the, yeah, and that kind of blows. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so the Deco Talker was there for that game shot push. Mm -hmm. Of you're out of links, can't make you're out of electrons, you can't make Metaltron, you just gotta get in there. Yeah. Um, the fact that it can get big, and the fact that it can kind of be another negation, mm -hmm. was very relevant. Yeah, but plus, it was mostly for the push. Right, and it's like the most uh, like generic thing in the world too. You make it with yeah, anything. Like yeah, like it literally won me like four matches. Yeah, like, not even Which kidding. One? Nice, dude. That's really good. That's actually really good to hear. Like on top of um. Yeah. Not needing the ashes, like not needing a uh, boral load. I think a lot of people are going to be very yeah. happy to hear that as well. Um, so, and then, uh, uh, you, yeah, you, other than that, the uh, the dark rebellion is the most ignorant fucking card in the world. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the supreme king, the supreme that king. That card is the most ignorant. It's like I don't need to break your board. I'm just going to kill you through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to say um, to wrap this up, Cheddar? Um, say hi to everybody. Uh, any shout outs? Um, anything like that? Yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted. Oh my god, Cheddar! <laughs> Cheddar! I need you Cheddar! I need you to fix your internet. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna go because I'm in my room. Maybe that'll be oh I'm going to the fucking living room. This is the most Maybe painful This is the most painful deck profile I've ever done. <laughs>
Well, actually, um, I did that. It's no, no, you know what's worse? I didn't even have to build the deck or anything. You sent me the deck, and I don't even have to talk about it. You talk about it, and it still sucks. Cheddar, fix your internet. <laughs> I do want to give a shout out to Nelson Vincent, who some of you may know from the Bro Pirate Tournament at yes. Baby Stomper 3000. Mm -hmm. um, he, uh, well, for a couple reasons. One, he helped me test this deck when we were first building it. But the main reason is uh, I had to beat him in the last round, mm. and he gave me a ride to the regional. It was literally winner oh, gets their invite, loser goes home. Oh my gosh, you didn't oh. tell me that. That's rough. That is that so is rough. rough. Oh was, my it was gosh. An awkward car ride. Yeah. yeah. No, I had to play. I had to play Sam in a tournament once. Okay. And it was like, it was, I, heard, I already had my yeah. invite, and he already had his invite, so he just decided to duke it out, except for, um, I, since I already had my invite, I was messing around with Evil Swarms, and of course he was playing Fluffles, so I 2 owed him with Ophion. Like, right. But this was literally... <laughs> yeah, but you legit played played. Like, you, neither of you had an invite, and you played played. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, that's like, he was way playing different. Magicians. Like, he was playing Magicians, and I blew him out. I have Ooh, so, oh, Ooh. and it was a mirror. That is rough. Oh my right, gosh. That was... And like we had the the whole time we had the no matter what theme going. <laughs> <laughs> no that's good. What. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no, that's amazing. Because I'm from that's it. I'm yeah, I got I got to play that song in this stupid video now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson drove to New York to pick me up. Yeah. <laughs> and so from Massachusetts, we made the drive from Mass. right afterwards on Friday night. Yeah. And then he says to me, and I quote, if you don't get your invite, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what happened? I got my invite. No, no, you didn't just get his invite. You slapped his ass around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this next one's from Jason Lamb. Oh, I know this guy. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this one's from Canada. Yeah, this is the guy from Canada. What, is, what, did, you, what did you guys say this week? So here's the return envelope. Looks like I'll be signing a bunch of cards. Oh, my gosh. All right, so pile of cards, return envelope. Let's see what this letter says. Dear Yugi, tick slap, tick slap. My Microsoft Word is working again. There we go. Thank you for reading my first letter. I'm writing to you again because I uh, since quit. I quit because uh, since I quit Yu-Gi-Oh, you're the only Yu-Gi-Oh tuber I am uh, still subscribed to. I'm sorry you quit. And uh, the, whose videos I am always uh, I am always waiting for. Simply Unlucky is just simply annoying. <laughs> I like Simply Unlucky. I think he's a really cool guy. Like I don't wa I don't ever watch his stuff except for like I mean if I and every now and then like I'll see an opening pop up and I'll watch it. But like yeah I don't I, I don't know. Like there's a lot of channels I'm subscribed to, but like I don't ever I'm, I actually really rarely watch YouTube. Ironically, I rarely actually watch YouTube. It's crazy. Uh, but um, Cyber Knight uh, has has a very annoying voice. It's the, Caleb's really nice. I don't know if he wants me to say his real name, actually. <laughs> but, but, but he's really, really nice. But um, has annoying, a uh, very annoying voice, and I don't want to be uh, tempted back into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh with his daily pack openings. Um, Team Sam seems high. <laughs> I still subscribe to Cap G, but I don't always watch his videos. Um, I am subscribed to Simply Slim, but I only uh, did it because I sold a bunch of cards to him. Slim is a really nice guy. Like, Slim is like freaking, the, 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 that dude, I ran into him at Nats, and he was like, dude, I love your channel. I'll watch you all the time. I'm like, what? I watch you, dude. <laughs> like, like, I've seen some of his videos. Like, I'm talking, that dude has been around, Slim has been around a lot longer than me, guys. Like, Slim was a channel before I was a channel. Like, seriously, I th I'm pretty sure he was. I'm pretty sure I remember watching him before I even was at, like, a thousand subs or something. But yeah, like, uh, He's been around. He's really cool. Uh, Cap G, I like. I like watching Cap G for like news and stuff. Um, uh, you know, when I do watch him. Um this, uh, Sam Sam's really really nice like another so see Sam's another guy like I don't really necessarily watch his stuff like ever but um every time I talk to him it's always a great experience I love the guy like I mean it's just because you don't like you know that's the that's the thing people don't understand like just because you don't like how you know how someone does videos doesn't mean you you, you can't like them as a person or vice versa like you can hate someone as a, someone as a person you know or think someone's a scumbag in person and then like their videos like I don't I don't understand how that's I don't understand why that's hard to understand let's put it that way I still secretly watch Simu on my smart TV but you you are the only uh, Yugi tuber I still constantly watch uh, once your videos are up. You and this awesome YouTube channel called uh, Shardimus Prime, who reviews of action figures. I've never heard of that guy. Uh, his uh, stuck up dork or SUD uh, for uh, short reminds me of Eugene. Uh, you should check out his YouTube channel and watch his videos. He even does stop motion. Oh, that's cool. Uh, tell me uh, what you think on Facebook. Uh, here is the, the link to his YouTube channel. Um, enclosed are uh, cards from, uh, from my card wall. I will be sending you a row from my card wall 
every time I send you fan mail so that um, I can have a complete Yugi Noto card wall. Dude, uh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Um, each card in the card wall has a theme. I each um, This week's theme is Yugi's cards. I uh, may not collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards anymore, but I kept uh, my Ghost uh, Ghost Rider Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend signed by Oliver Wyman, the voice of Aster Phoenix. That's really cool. Who signed them for me for free because I uh, sweet talked him on Twitter. <laughs> that is amazing. Also, I have a friend named Iowan who briefly got back into Yu-Gi-Oh because of me and he loves Destiny Heroes and we played E Heroes versus D Heroes for a brief time because I was a scrub and was a jaded obsessed weeb. I, I quit E Heroes because I didn't like uh, Masked Heroes that much to, bu uh, to build Black Wings because of my friend Steven called uh, himself a Synchro Master so I decided to build a Synchro Center deck to kick his ass. <laughs> I built Black Wings because that was the first Synchro deck that came into my mind and I love the anime. I finally did when we went back to the card store I, and I pulled the D barrier. I even beat my friend who was playing uh, Blue Eyes back in 2015 by uh, spamming one card, Icarus Attack. Don't underestimate my, the Black Wings. My ace in, in, in that deck is obviously Scarlight Red, uh, Scarlight Red Dragon Arch Fiend. It's a really good one and is also one of my favorite cards alongside um, Absolute Zero and Master Hyperion and Stardust Dragon. Even though I prefer to use uh, Stardust Spark in my deck, um, I made a Crystal Beast because I was getting my ass kicked at school by this kid who plays a Evil Swarm, or as I like to call it, a Evil Swarm, Evil a shawarma? I got so salty that, that, that I decided to make a deck that ran no level 5 or higher monsters. I was an idiot back in the day. And I thought Crystal Beast Knight, so I, uh, I saw it, and I thought Crystal Beast not Teller Knight. So I made a Crystal Beast deck, which I t uh, soon turned into Crystal Clown, with a chaos meaning, uh, meaning a rank up. As you see, um, I leave the uh, a Chaos Crystal Clown, with chaos meaning rank up. That's what he's saying. As, uh, as you see, I love the anime, and even though I want uh, the new Crystal Beast support, I cannot buy a cards anymore because I don't want to be tempted back into the game and just waste my money, no offense. I've already uh, wasted $60 Canadian on a uh, Marvel Legends Ghost Rider with bike and I had to get it as soon as possible because Marvel Legends are very popular and this is a very popular figure. I like this deck uh, because um, it, it is in my original creation I like to call the unholy love child between Jesse Anderson and uh, Barry and World. Uh, I think this, but yeah. Uh, I also want, uh, want you to keep these very cool OCG cards that I got during uh, one of my trips to Hong Kong. Well, thank you very much. Uh, keep up the good work. Um, hashtag Barry and World. Hashtag posing action figures uh, Hogan. Uh, P.S. Um, can you answer my questions? Who do you think uh, should replace uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine? Um... Um... Uh, how about um, Tom Hardy? I think Tom Hardy would be good. Um, who is the best uh, Spider-Man? Uh, Tobey Maguire, uh, Andrew Garf Garfield, or Tom Holland? I liked Andrew Garfield's cockiness, but I like Tom Holland's dorkiness, if that makes any sort of sense. Um, Tobey Maguire was just like good as like a placeholder Spider-Man, like his, uh, but like, so in other, in other words, um, uh, like that was a good, um, uh, the first and second Spider-Man movies of Tobey Maguire were a good way to like kind of continue the superhero thing, you know, after X-Men and all that. Um, but like, um, I don't know how to put this. Uh, I don't really like Tobey Maguire's um, Spider-Man, except I will say the Spider-Man 2 out of that it was amazing. It was a great, great movie. Like, just as a standalone superhero movie, that movie is fantastic, and you'll hear other people talk about that as well, and that's because it's genuinely a great movie. It was very well done, uh, for the most part. So, um, anyways, I prefer Andrew Garfield because Tobey Maguire sounds like a wuss, and Tom Holland sounds like Justin Bieber. I am not kidding. Uh, Donald Glover's um, character in Homecoming says, Tom Holland's voice sounds like a girl just a beaver was often called a, called a girl in memes do you see the connection i recently saw homecoming for a four time because I, I i want to like homecoming it is a way harder to enjoy homecoming than trying to be um evil swarms so far i enjoyed the uh, the vulture uh, donald glover's a uh, comment about tom holland's voice the first uh first high school scene because it establishes the new spider-man universe and some scenes with um spider-man doing stupid stuff he goes on to say i'm still not convinced that it's a good movie it's because your brain's telling you that there's something wrong with it and that there is it is a uh, dr octopus his mind in Spider-Man's body and at first I thought it was it was stupid but I ended up loving the series I might not be a used to sloppy Spider-Man Andrew Garfield was a great Spider-Man ironically the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is my least favorite Spider-Man movie and the Amazing Spider-Man was my favorite Spider-Man film um I can get on board with that Amazing Spider-Man 2 kind of uh, kind of sucked because like it was like a um I don't know it was 
honestly, you have to view it this way. It was a cash grab by Sony because it was like the last Spider-Man movie before, you know, the rights went back to Marvel or whatever. Don't quote me on any of this because, like, once again, I'm not, I said this, like, several times before, I'm not a comic book guy. I kind of have, I know, I know secondary information and stuff, you know what I mean? But I'm not a comic book guy and I don't keep up with all this stuff constantly. But from what I understand, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is basically just a cash grab. So it wasn't intended to be a good movie in the first place. But what is your uh, least favorite Marvel movie? Mine is Fan, uh, fan 4 Stick. <laughs> Yeah, that was a. I couldn't finish it. Um, um, another one. Um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, Iron Man two kind of sucked. Uh, yeah, was it two or three? The which one? Which one was the one with the Mandarin? Because that one could have been better. Whichever one that one was could have been better. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess that one. I don't know. Uh, the 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 crappy X Men one was really crappy. But I think my least favorite. Marvel movie is probably the uh, Spider-Man 3, the Tobey Maguire one, because uh, I saw that one in theaters, and even uh, when I was younger, I was like, this movie sucks. <laughs> like, so, yeah, like, that was, that's was that got to be my least favorite one. Um, I don't blame you um, if you haven't seen it because it is terrible. Uh, I got bored once, and I rewatched it uh, one hour into the movie and, and no action, and it was only about one hour and three minutes of the movie that we got some action. I, I even laughed uh, when um, Reed punched Dr. Doom and shouldn't have even be, who shouldn't even be called Dr. Doom because he looked Looks like a sex doll. <laughs> the thing has no thing. I'm not even kidding. Google the thing for uh, fan four stick, and you will see him completely naked with no pants or a wang. I guess he can't dick slap the like button or tits slap the like button, considering he has no dick or nor is a woman. <laughs> Ironically, the hype for that movie is the only reason why I got into fa Fantastic Four. I spent a, a bunch of money on uh, Fantastic Four comics, and they are so much better than the movie. Um, even the uh, ones with Chris Evans as the Human Torch are better than this film. Oh, yeah, I agree with that, actually. I agree with that. I mean, even though, like, the older Fantastic Four movies weren't the best, they were definitely better than the reboot that they did. Uh, absolutely. I, I'm total, total agreeance with that. So now I condemn it. I even saw it on the first day and dragged my friend to watch it with me, and I still regret it to this day. PPPS, Eugene should get more love. I'm pretty sure this his full name is Eugene No-No, right? Um, you, I don't know. I don't know if we have last names. I, I, don't, I don't know. Our dad never really told us what our last names are. But anyways, dude, thank you so much for writing this let's wait let's, uh, let's see what cards you sent so a uh, time gazer magician odd eyes raging dragon odd eyes pendulum dragon clear wing synchro hey dark rebellion xyz dragon odd eyes rebellion dragon which i love time gazer magician what oh yeah then you sent me the ocg cards that's right dude thank you so much dude thank you so much for that i was i was reading your letter i completely forgot i completely had forgotten that you sent me like the hong kong cards thank you so much for that uh, keep open on camera i hope you like these gifts i sent you i got these during a Hong Kong trip yeah dude thank you so so much um, let's see what the what these are oh dude these are really cool a poly and then oh what's this one? Oh, this one has something to do with machines or something right the effect of it is this the one that you can technically use to summon dark destroyer from hand I want to say based on the art this is that card oh god I'm terrible with card names and stuff sometimes but dude this is way way sick there's actually like really cool like lines on this one they don't do cool stuff like that here in the states uh, more or in Canada I don't think uh, no they don't like in North America in general they don't but dude this poly is really really sick we need more stuff like this here in the states but anyways though anyways thank you so much for these cards these are actually really awesome like I really like this poly a lot like this OG poly like this is amazing incredible and then all OG art poly I should say because I'm pretty sure that's the original art for poly in the in the anime right if I remember correctly or, or something like that but um and I do anyways though I have, I have other stuff I'm like, I'm like rambling on here I have other stuff to open but dude I will definitely sign these and send them right back your way thank you so much for, your, for the cards thank you so much for the letter thank you so much for sending cards to sign everything dude thank you so much again okay so next up we're gonna open up all three of these because all of these are from vendors and I have no idea what they are uh, one of them I will say though on uh, this one this one is from Christian Perian, which he did say he was going to send this. Thank you so much for sending this, by the way. He didn't tell me what it was, but he did message me on Facebook saying he was going to send me a little something, so I don't know what this is. But this is from Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. This one's from Ideal 808 And this one's from TCG Ontario, we, which is crazy because I just read a letter from Canada. <laughs> but, so let's open up this one first then. So this one's from Ontario, so let's open up the Canadian one first. <laughs> And it's, and it's beans. This is exactly why I broke the circuit because I knew you guys would do this. I knew you would try to send me more beans. I just know my fans too well. I just know my fans way, way too well. Hey, this is cool though. Some random reinforcements in a, in a rota. So reinforcements and reinforcement of the army. Oh no, he's sending reinforcements. Oh my gosh, this is a shatter foil. Oh, no, that's scary. Ooh, he sent some actual, ooh, he sent some actual reinforcements. 
Whoa, whoa, man. Man, that was, ugh. This, this is exactly why I broke the circuit, guys. This is exactly why everything was done exactly the way I did it, because I knew you trolls would send me more stuff. Let's see what Christian sent me next. Oh, okay, so, let's see what this is. What? I thought that that was gonna be another stack of beans. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what to say, except I need to find my scissors so I can open this up because there's more than one card in there. Dude, you are absolutely insane. If this is three ash, you are a madman. Like, you are just, I mean, you are already a madman, but oh my gosh, dude, you are completely insane. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, though. This is incredible, dude. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh my gosh, this, 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 I don't know. You don't know how much this means to me. Thank you so much for, you know, for supporting me and, and just everything, dude, and, and, and continuing to message me and, you know, and all that stuff. And, and just being a patron and everything, just everything. Thank you so, so, so much for supporting. Um, I am completely speechless right now. Um, I need to sleeve these, though. Okay, so I got these sleeved. Thank you so much again, dude. Seriously, oh my gosh, you are, you're nuts, you're crazy. But we have to see what this next thing is. Uh, it's probably gonna be, there's a lot in this one. That's why I opened this one last. I think this one, I have a feeling this is gonna be like a million beans. I think someone's, why are you guys trying to infestate my house again? Like, why are you trying to do that? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't send beans to your house. Why are you sending beans here? Seriously, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, what is this? So, oh no, is this really, oh my gosh, more re, oh. <laughs> Okay, man. I don't think I should open this. I think I should keep this sealed because even though I broke the circuit, I don't want I don't want to take the chance of having another beans invasion. I don't know, man. I, I'm just, I'm not open to this. I'm sorry, I'm not open to that. If you are watching this right now, that means you made it to the end of this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this entire time. Thank you so much for, for sending me mail and supporting the channel and everything you do. You guys are absolutely amazing. I have the best fans on the planet. But until next time, guys, a million thank yous aren't enough. And I'm just gonna uh, add another thank you and, uh, and leave. Subscribe! Mm-hmm.